Hey everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo and I've got another awesome video for you today. And I say awesome because this is going to be the biggest collaboration event for fan casters ever. So right now, we are doing something very new, very fresh, and I mentioned this to you guys before in a previous channel update video, but this is going to be awesome. We're going to be fan casting the MCU's X-Men. So we know that the Fox Disney deal is getting ready to close any month now. In the next few months, it'll be done. And so I've gathered for you 10 of the finest fan casters on Instagram together to do one big fan casting so that we can determine who are the most wanted actors to play the MCU's X-Men. So let's get started with this. I'm gonna jump right ahead because we got a lot coming. We have the Fan Casting Summit, the greatest gathering of all of the fan casters across Instagram. We're gonna bring together and I'm gonna present to you guys right here on YouTube. So make sure that when you guys are done watching this video, if you like the castings that you see, go to Instagram and check out the fan casters that have contributed their summit votes to this fan casting summit. All right, so let's get started. First up, we have Nerds United at nerds unders or at underscore nerds dot united underscore on Instagram. Let's get into his submissions. So first up, we have Cyclops Scott Summers. Nerds United has submitted actor number one, Chris Pine. We know him from Wonder Woman and Star Trek. We also have actor number two, Jared Padalecki from Supernatural and ER. Now I'll go ahead and just kick it off by saying Chris Pine is one of the most commonly fan casted actors to play Cyclops. There's a lot of good fan art out there and I think that this is a very solid choice. Now Jared Padalecki a little bit outside the box. You don't see that one as often. However, I will say that personality wise, I think that he fits the bill. Just give him a nice haircut and I think he'll do fine. Next up, for the picks that Nerds United selected for Jean Grey, we have actress number one being Mia, if I'm saying this correct, Jovovich from Resident Evil and the upcoming Hellboy 2019. And we also have actress Natalie Dormer for slot number two from Game of Thrones and Captain America, the first Avenger. You might remember her. She was the lady who uh, kissed Captain America in front of Peggy Carter and then Peggy gets really upset and then she shoots Captain America, he blocks with the shield and that's how they knew the shield worked. Um, so she played that, that small role, but I think that's so small and so long ago that we could just very easily recycle her. So I think these are good choices. Um, next up, we have Angel, Warren Worthington III, actor number one, Taron Egerton from Kingsman Rock and Rocket Man in 2019, the upcoming film. Um, fantastic actor and Jake Abel, definitely looks the part. Percy Jackson and I am number four, um, just grow his hair out a little bit and I think he would do very nicely in the role of Warren Worthington. Hank McCoy. So two actors selected here, Jason Clark from First Man and Terminator Genesis. Now he's a little bit thicker. He's got a thicker skull, thicker head, just solid build. I think that's gonna be really critical if you wanna do a very human uh, version of Beast or if you're gonna have some practical effects to have a larger guy in the role. I think that Jason Clark would fit that bill very nicely and could very easily play the role. On the flip side, Patrick Wilson, although he is fit and he is you know, built pretty strong, he is a little bit more on the narrow side and I would, I would suggest that his acting ability is more than comparable. However, I would go with more of a CGI take for um, Patrick Wilson, but it, neither, either way, both selections are really cool. I like these. Next up, we have Iceman. Brian Detcher is actor number one from Jane by Design and also Step Up 3D. We also have in the second slot, Grant Gustin, The Flash uh, on CW and 90210. And I'll go ahead and say that I, I think that Brian Detchard is good. Um, I don't see him a lot as, a, as an option, but I do, I have seen Grant Gustin before and I do think that his humor is underplayed on The Flash. They dramatize the CW shows quite a bit and I think it would be nice to see uh, a, very, a very nice comedic actor like Grant Gustin play the role of Iceman, I think that fits very nicely. Um, and it fits with The Flash, but I think that they delve a lot more into the emotional side of Barry Allen um, and leave the comedy to some of the other characters, which in my opinion is a bit of a shame. I really enjoy the humorous versions of The Flash. Next up, we have Charles Xavier 
First actor is Sean Pertwee from Gotham and Doomsday, and then we also have Liam Cunningham, War Horse, and Clash of the Titans. Both of these guys are great for the role. Um, I think they both look the part. I mean, you just have to shave their heads. It's pretty simple. Um, I think they're both good choices. Nerds United chooses Eric Lencher's Christoph Walf, Waltz. I'm sorry. For the role of Eric Lencher Magneto, we have Christoph Waltz and Christopher Heyerdahl. So Waltz is from Inglorious Bastards and Django Unchained. And Christopher Heyerdahl, Van Helsing, and Hell on Wheels. Both actors are very outside the box, and this is why I really like reaching out to a number of different fan casters because you get these actors who are not so common. You don't you don't always get the exact same thing. You're gonna see that as we move along. I think these are both cool choices. I really enjoy these. They weren't in, on my list, but that's the beauty of fan casting is that following a number of different guys, you get a number of different opinions and perspectives, and I think this is a great option. So now let's take a look at Nerds United, his full roster, his team one here on the left. We have Chris Pine, Mia Jovovich, Taryn Egerton, Jason Clark, Brian Detchert, Sean Pertwee, and Christoph Waltz as his team number one. And as a backup, his second entries are Jared Padalecki, Natalie Dormer, Jake Abel, Patrick Wilson, Grant Gustin, Liam Cunningham, and Christoph, or Christopher Heyerdahl. So that's those are your lineups there. You can feel free to pause it at any time if you wanna take a, a look or rewind, you can totally do that. Next up, we have Dream Fancast, Dream underscore Fancast on Instagram. So let's get into some of his picks. Let's check it out. First up, we have Cyclops, actor number one, Andrew Garfield from Hacksaw Ridge and The Amazing Spider-Man. Talented actor, a little bit on the slender side in my opinion, but I think that acting wise, I think he would be great for the role. Um, a little bit, a little bit outside of the visual aesthetic that I would be going for, but again, that's the beauty of having a bunch of different guys give a bunch of different opinions, and I think that talent, acting-wise, I think he would fit quite nicely, especially if you're going to go for a slightly younger Cyclops. Now, second on the list is Army Hammer, the Lone Ranger, and the Man from Uncle. This one was my number one pick, and I, I believe that. This is probably the most common selection of actor for the role is Army Hammer. Um, and we, we can see that as we move along if that's the case or not, but let's take a look. So this is really good, I like these. Um, next up, Marvel Girl, Jean Grey. We have actress number one is Emma Stone, uh, from the, again, from The Amazing Spider-Man and from La La Land. And then also Amelia Clark from Solo, A Star Wars Story, and Game of Thrones. Both actresses are very talented. I think visually between the two of these, I would probably go with Emma Stone, but both of them are heavy hitter emotional powerhouses, and I think either of them could fit the role, but I do like that Emma Stone has bigger eyes. It kind of lends itself to that comic book appearance, um, and she is a natural redhead, which is pretty cool. So that, I think, goes really nicely there. You wouldn't have to deviate very far with makeup or anything. So let's move along. Next up is Angel, actor one, Dacre Montgomery from Power Rangers 2017 and Stranger Things. He killed it as uh, Jason Lee Scott from the Power Rangers. I really enjoyed his performance. Um, he was amazing in Stranger Things. He can, he's a, he's a leading man now. He's established himself as someone who can really carry um, a scene, who can carry a script and a movie. He's really talented. I, I really like this guy. Um, but Tom Felton, I do think, fits the visual aesthetic really nicely, and he is European, he's British. So that would be um, helpful as well. I think I believe in the comics, I don't know that uh, Angel was exactly British, but he did live in London for a time. And that would, that would be kind of nice to just kind of maybe even retcon it. You wouldn't have to have him do an accent. I haven't seen him do a lot of work with an American accent, so you could just tweak it a little bit and say he was from England and then he came back over whatever you want to do next up on the list we have Hank McCoy Henry McCoy um, actor number one is Daniel Radcliffe from Harry Potter and horns and again this is another actor from Harry Potter um, but they're very talented and I do think that if you're gonna go for a human beast and then go with a CGI blue beast I think that this would be a really good pick because you don't need someone of grand stature Although, if you guys know me by now, I am incredibly aesthetic, so I do prefer larger guys for larger roles. Um, and so, even though Daniel Radcliffe is kind of a small guy, I do think that he would be able to play the part very nicely. And again, on, on the same exact token, James McAvoy, who played in, in the X-Men series from First Class all the way through to Dark Phoenix as Professor X, 
I think, again, would do really nicely in the role of Beast. He does uh, a really good job playing uh, the Beast in, um, in Glass. And he also, um, what was it, Split? He plays multiple personalities. He can rage out really well. He can also play a very intellectual individual very nicely. I think that would lend itself very nicely to the role. So let's keep moving. Iceman, Robert Bobby Drake. So Dream Fancast has Ansel Elgort playing Iceman. He's from uh, The Fault in Our Stars and from Baby Driver. Uh, we also have Logan Lerman from Fury and, per and the Percy Jackson series. I think both of these guys would be really nice in the role. Although I will say I do think that um, Logan Lerman has much more of the aesthetic look. He looks a lot more like Iceman um, than I think Ansel Elgort does. But both of them are talented actors. I think both of them could play the role. Really good choices here. Um, next up, we have Charles Xavier. We have Ewan McGregor. Now this one, it took me by surprise because this was someone that I had kind of thought of as like a, a bonus, as like a... Um, just kind of like a here's a here's a possibility in my other fan casting video for the individuals but this is the massive collaboration event the fan casting summit this is the grand jury where we get all of the fan casters together and just go at it and i think uh you know this one took me by surprise that a lot of people had put on their lists number one ewan mcgregor and this is really cool but ewan mcgregor would do really nicely in the role um he would fit right in and I think that same with Sean Pertwee, per Pertwee, sorry for mispronouncing that, but Gotham and Doomsday again. Um, and then also with uh, Ewan McGregor, Star Wars Episode Three, and Christopher Robin, both of these guys could play the role of Professor X. Next up, we have Eric Lencher Magneto. Dream Fancast has Jude Law um, as the first one from Fantastic Beasts 2 and also in Captain Marvel. And then we also have Viggo Mortensen. Uh, from Lord of the Rings and also from Green Book. And this one's really, really special to me. I really enjoy the Lord of the Rings um, films. I love the casting, but Jude Law is incredibly talented as well. I think either of these guys would do a fantastic job in the role of Eric Lencher, but I'm really excited about um, Viggo Mortensen. I really like that idea. Um, I think that he could give us a Magneto unlike anything we've ever seen. And I've enjoyed all of the Magnetos thus far. All right, so now let's take a look at the roster for Dream Fancast. So on the top, we have um, Andrew Garfield, Emma Stone, Drake, uh, Dacre Montgomery, Daniel Radcliffe, Ansel Elgort, Ewan McGregor, and Jude Law as Team One. And then on the second team, as a second lineup, we have Army Hammer, Amelia Clark, Tom Felton, James McAvoy, Logan Lerman, Sean Pertwee, and Viggo Mortensen. I think these are all incredible. Um, I think that these are great castings. Let's keep moving. We've got a lot to cover, so let's keep moving. World of Fancasts up next. So world.of.fancasts. Again, on Instagram, at world.of.fancasts. This guy does a lot of awesome art. He sent me a lot of art, and I was able to use some of his art in my selections, which you'll see at the end of this video. Um, but for this one, we have Miles Teller from the Fant 4 Stick movie, or Fantastic Four, the recent one, which everybody hated. Um, but not because of the actors. And uh, Thank You For Your Service was another film he did where he played a, a military role. Um, I think that that is actually a really good choice. And I, he does have a much younger, um, like, uh, personality kind of aura type of whatever, you know. Like, he just, he feels younger. Even if he's a little bit older, he feels young. And I think that if you wanted to go with the younger X-Men, that would be your guy. Um, Again, another outside of the box thinking right here with Jake Johnson from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and New Girl. Um, also in tag, he did a great job. Um, fantastic actor, I'm really enjoying his comedy style. Um, I love his like uh, personality, but I think that he would do a really nice job as Cyclops. Not my first pick. Um, visually, aesthetically, I like a bigger dude, but again, World of Fancast really surprised me um, by putting Jake Johnson on this list and I appreciate that. World of Fancast chooses for Jean Grey. First up is Blake Lively. She was my um, second pick for the role, um, but it was very close. And I really like Blake Lively in the role of Jean Grey, but also huge surprise to me was Rosario Dawson. And you guys already know that my my thing is I'm very aesthetic, but so like it, I don't like a lot of race bending or gender bending any roles. I like if, it, if it's a predetermined role that we are already familiar with, I like the classics. 
Um, it doesn't have to be exactly classic, but in this case, Rosaria Dawson is probably like the one major exception I would make to this rule. I could see Rosaria Dawson in this role. I could see her tearing this role up. I would love to see Rodari Rosario Dawson in the role of Jean Grey because she's just a fantastic actress. Um, she's She's got looks, she's got talent, she's got incredible acting range, um, and she's worked with both Marvel and DC in ex very, very extensively both in live action and in animated projects. Um, so it would be really cool to see, you know, either Blake Lively from Age of Adeline and Green Lantern um, or Rosario Dawson from Daredevil and the Lego Batman movie. Next up, we have Angel, Warren Worthington III, Charles Melton from Riverdale and The Thinning, New World Order, and then Alex Pettifer, Beastly, and I Am Number Four. Uh, a surprising choice with Charles Melton. Um, personality, I think it shouldn't be too hard for him to uh, reach over and play this more serious role. Um, Angel's not particularly comedic, but he does just kind of have a little bit of back and forth with, you know, like Iceman, but he's also a, kind of more of plays a rival type role to Cyclops. Challenges a little bit for authority and then he eventually leaves the team. Um, I think somebody like Alex Pettifer would be able to do this role very nicely and he darn well looks the part. So those that's my thoughts there, but both are really cool. Um, love the creativity with Charles Melton. Beast, Henry Hank McCoy. So first off, we have Cooper Andrews, Den of Thieves and Shazam. Now this one's uh, pretty cool. If you're gonna go with straight blue beast, it doesn't really matter if you're gonna like race bend or if you, you know, like um, that type of thing is not a big deal. So I think with, especially with someone who's either gonna be prosthetically enhanced or uh, makeup enhanced or CGI or motion capture, you could use someone like Cooper Andrews quite nicely. And this one uh, really shocked me because for John Krasinski, I was only thinking Cyclops. I never considered him for Beast, but this is actually a really nice pick for Beast. And I think he would do a great job in this one. So again, Cooper Andrews from Den of Thieves and Shazam. And also John K. John Krasinski from A Quiet Place and The Office. Um, really cool. At 13 hours, he does a lot of tough roles too. So, next up, World of Fancast has Brandon Flynn as his first pick for Iceman. 13 Reasons Why and Brain Dead. I would like to see him do, like, lean more into the comedy end, but he definitely has the look, and he, I, I think he's got the chops for it. We've seen him do some comedy as well, but um, I think this role would specifically, it would just be, like, dominant, vastly dominantly comedic. And um, I would love to see that. Now, this one is really amazing, if I'm not saying that wrong. Kanan Lonsdale from The Flash and Love, Simon. Kanan Lonsdale, in, he plays uh, Kid Flash in CW's The Flash. Ever since I saw him in the first time, I was like, dang, that guy has the perfect personality to play Iceman. And again, you guys know I, I'm already, I'm very aesthetic when it, I like classic. I like to look very original. I like to look very true to the um, source material. And even though, uh, Keenan Lonsdale is, you know, darker and he just, he doesn't, he doesn't look exactly like Iceman typically would. I will say he's got the personality down more than almost any pick I've ever seen. And I would be, more, again, like the Rosaria Dawson thing, I'd be much, I would be so happy to see him get that role. That'd be amazing. So great choices here. Next up, World of Fan Casts, Professor X, Charles Xavier, we have uh, some powerful actors here. We got J.K. Simmons from Spider-Man and Justice League. He's done both Marvel and DC. It would be great to see him circle back to Marvel for this one. Um, you can see him shaved head here along with Ben Kingsley, both of them. Ben Kingsley from Iron Man 3 and Prince of Persia. Both of these guys, I think, would knock it out of the park playing this role. Um, more so than the others? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. I can't wait to hear from you guys. So let's keep moving. Uh, Eric Lencher, Magneto, v here's my man, Vigo Mortensen again, Lord of the Rings and Hidalgo. And then also we have Robert De Niro from The Godfather and from Joker 2019. I can't wait to see that movie, but also I think that De Niro would bring um, a very like rough version of Magneto, whereas I think Vigo Mortensen would be able to balance between like compassionate and vicious. <laughs> I think I, I honestly I think I'd still prefer the Vigo to Robert De Niro, but this is an awesome choice, and you don't see this casting very often. This is really good stuff. So, World of Fan Casts. Let's go over his team. So first up, we have Cyclops, uh, Miles Teller, 
Then we have Blake Lively, Charles Melton, An Cooper Andrews, Brandon Flynn, J.K. Simmons, and Vigo Mortensen as his tier one roster. Then for the second roster, we have Jake Johnson, Rosario Dawson, Alex Pettiford, John Kay, Keenan Lonsdale, Ben Kingsley, and Robert De Niro. And as much as I like Blake Lively, as much as I like Miles Teller, and even Brandon Flynn, and uh, you know, I, I really do enjoy the top, the top list. I think team two for me on this one is where I would go. But let's keep moving. So next up, we have Fancaster underscore 76. We have Army Hammer is number one from the Lone Ranger, the man from Uncle. Um, again, my ideal pick here. And then again, Andrew Garfield we're seeing from Hacksaw Ridge and the Amazing Spider-Man yet again. Both great choices. I've already shared my thoughts on these guys, so we'll skim along, but I love these. Fantastic. And I love the art, by the way, the way that, you know, all of you guys out here, all the fan casters have been uh, presenting these art pieces. I really enjoy this. It's very clean and it's the same way that they do it on their Instagram. So you should go check those out. Marvel Girl Jean Grey, actress number one, Natalie Dormer. I love Natalie Dormer. Natalie Dormer from Game of Thrones and Captain America the First Avenger would be phenomenal. I think that she would do a fantastic job in the role of Jean Grey. She was dramatically underused. I mean, she was used well, but underused in the First Avenger. Uh, and I think that this would be a great choice. Now, Emma Watson from Harry Potter and Beauty and the Beast is a tremendous actress. I think that visually she's pretty close. Um, she's very small person, but I think that that's not that big a deal, especially if you're gonna try to exaggerate the role of uh, Cyclops, making him like basically look like a super soldier, even though he's not. Um, but I think it would it would give a good dynamic for the team and the height and everything if you wanted to do a full like team shot or something like that. Um, and she's just fantastic actress. She could she could totally pull it off. So I love both of these. These are great. Next up we have uh, Sam Claflin from Hunger Games and Adrift to play Warren Worthington the third. And we also have Dacre Montgomery from Power Rangers 2017 and Stranger Things. I've already talked about uh, Dacre Montgomery, but Warren Worthington the third, Sam Claflin is awesome he definitely looks the part he's his aesthetic is off off the charts on this one and i think that from what i've seen in hunger games what we've seen in some of his other roles he is capable of great dramatic acting um he's also capable of humor but that's not his forte he's very serious actor and i think that would lend itself perfectly in the role of warren worthington the third especially if you're going to harp on um the uh competition between him and Cyclops. That would be really cool. So let's keep moving. Next up, we have, Dan again, Daniel Radcliffe for the role of Beast in from Harry Potter and Horns. And then we also have Toby Kebble from Planet of the Apes, Kong Skull Island. This guy's a savage. He was in Fant Four Stick. I don't really like to get into that too much because he was misused. But what I will say is he's one of the leading motion capture artists of the day. So if you're talking about doing motion capture or CGI, for someone like Daniel Radcliffe, um, you can most certainly do it for someone who is a big guy, Toby Kebble. You could have him start as a human with no with no motion capture and just him in a suit and you know do the human form beast, and then you could story arc into here's the serum, and then boom, he could go motion capture just like he did in Planet of the Apes, Kong Skull Island. He was in Warcraft even. He played an orc, which lends itself to like that big beefy creature with the fangs and he looks kind of monstrous. He's used to that. He does that all the time. <laughs> so I think this would be great. Fantastic choices. I love these. Mostly Toby Kebble for me, but I, I could totally see Daniel Radcliffe, in, Daniel Radcliffe in that role. Now, Logan Lerman and Dylan O'Brien for, for Iceman. There's not a lot to say here. I mean, Dylan O'Brien, Maze Runner and Deepwater Horizon, incredible. He's absolutely incredible. He's hilarious too, especially if you watch him in like interviews. He's just really silly guy. Logan Lerman as well, fantastic, um, fantastic serious actor. I would like to see him do a lot more in the range. <laughs> I would like to see him do a lot more in the range of comedy. Um, you see me tripping over my words here, but yes, both of them very talented. I think my pick here would probably be Dylan O'Brien, but both of them perfect, aesthetically perfect for this, and I just I think they're great. Moving on, we have Professor Charles Xavier, Ralph Fiennes, Harry Potter, the Lego Batman, and again, Mark Strong, um, Kingsman, and Green Lantern. Now, both of these guys were on my list, and both of these guys, um, they look the part. They typically play villains, but I think 
it would be nice to get some some of these actors who typically play bad guys to just kind of delve back into maybe a more serious but compassionate role. Magneto is even compassionate with mutants, with other mutants that are in his brotherhood, his people. He's very caring towards his own, but he's very cold towards those who would oppose his people. And it's very tribalist in that way. And I think that both of these guys have that capability, but you could do the same thing kind of in reverse. You know, Professor X is compassionate and caring to all. Um, this would give them a chance to really shine with range. Next up for Fancaster underscore 76, we have his picks for Magneto, the master of magnetism. And he has, uh, first up, Jason Isaacs from Harry Potter and the Patriot. Now this guy is usually quite sinister. This guy um, is excellent at being evil. He usually plays bad guys and he plays them very, very well. Um, but I think that this would be a really good opportunity, not for him to just play an evil guy, but to play someone who is not inherently evil. He's someone who just has a different perspective on how a better world ought to be brought uh, into being. It's, uh, you know, X-Men is very political in that way, and I think it would be really cool to have him play someone that isn't so much evil as they are a powerful leader that is potentially leading his people into a way that is harmful or detrimental to society as a whole. And I think that that would be really good to give him a little bit more dynamic there, not be just a bad guy, but be someone that is still an antagonist, but not a bad guy. And then uh, Sean Bean is the second actor here. And I think this is awesome because, um, man, him playing Boromir in Lord of the Rings really did show how you can play that antagonist that is not inherently evil, but ha it can be sinful and can be, uh, you know, can fall and fail and um, struggle with temptation and struggle with the need for power, um, fear, you know, letting your fear drive you to do things you normally would not. Um, this this would be the perfect actor for that role. And again, Sean Bean um, is a character that typically dies in every single role that he plays. And I would, in my rendition of X-Men, I would not have him die. He would be the master of magnetism. And Magneto does not go down. He doesn't go down lightly. He doesn't go down easily. Um, and it would be very difficult for the X-Men to overpower him. Instead, rather, they would have to thwart his plans. Sean Bean would be, I think, my ideal pick uh, for Magneto, so I, I just love these castings here. Off the top, we have Army Hammer as roster number one, uh, Natalie Dormer, Sam Claflin, Daniel Radcliffe, Logan Lerman, Ralph Fiennes, and Jason Isaacs. And in the second tier, we have Andrew Garfield, Emma Watson, Dacre Montgomery, Toby Kebble, Dylan O'Brien, Mark Strong, and Sean Bean. It's awesome castings here. Love both of these. Um, it's hard to tell which one I would go for, for, for this one. It's, it's, they're so, so great. I just love these. Anyway, let's keep moving. Fancast Frenzy. Next up on the list, we have Fancast Frenzy. So Cyclops, uh, Brenton Thwaites. We have Titans, The Giver. This kid is fantastic. If you guys have seen Titans, he does an amazing job. He does so He's so good in the role of Dick Grayson. Um, I love him. I think this is a good choice, especially if you're going younger with Cyclops. Oscar Isaac as the secondary from X-Men Apocalypse and Star Wars Episode 7. Um, he does a fantastic job as Poe Dameron. And I'm saying fantastic a lot. I really do. I mean it. I really like these actors. This one's a little bit outside the box for me. I don't personally see him as Cyclops, but hey, this is why we have multiple opinions. I really like this and I love the actor. So let's, let's you know, maybe he would like to go from playing Apocalypse to the team leader of the X-Men. That would be kind of cool. Give him a second chance. Fancast Frenzy puts up Joey King as actress number one from White House Down and Oz the Great and Powerful to play Jean Grey. This is really cool outside the box. I think aesthetically, um, she's got like kind of rounder, smoother features. I think for Jean Grey, I would want someone with a little bit of like, maybe a narrower face, uh, looks a little bit older. She looks very young here. Um, and I would like to see maybe someone a little bit older, but if you are going young, this is a nice choice. Amber Heard though, is I think perfect for the role of Jean Grey. She looks the part, um, she's got the chops, she, she plays romantic, dramatic, comedic, she does it all. 
Um, not that Jean Grey is particularly funny, but she has to be able to bounce back and forth sometimes with, say, Bobby, with Cyclops, with, you know, everybody. She's the heart of the X-Men, so. That was my thoughts there. Aquaman and Justice League are on her resume, and it would be kind of cool after, you know, maybe she maybe she's done. I don't. It's not likely because of Aquaman and Justice League, but perhaps she'll flip after she's done with her contract. Next up, Angel, Warren Worthington III, Graham Phillips, The Good Wife, and Blockers. Um, I haven't personally seen this actor yet. I haven't watched these films, um, but he looks the part. Aesthetically, he's a good pick. And then also we have Dylan Sprouse from Riverdale the, and The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. This kid is really funny. Um, I, I've only seen so much of Riverdale. My wife watches it. I haven't seen it myself, but I've heard good things about it. And I think that um, he looks the part. And based on what I've seen from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, He's very like, he's got kind of an innocence to him, which has since flipped since based on what I've seen in uh, Riverdale. So it's, there's no telling what this kid is capable of. I'm not sure that I would put him in the role, but this is a really creative choice. And I wanna hear what you guys have to say about seeing Dylan Sprouse in the role of Angel. This is a very cool casting, I like this. Next up. We have Carlos Valdez from The Flash on CW and then Vixen as well. Now, I think The Flash was basically his breakout role. Um, he hadn't done, I don't think, any acting professionally before that. Um, but to see him play Beast would be very, very cool, very interesting. He's not a large guy, but he is very talented. I love what I see with him on The Flash. I would love to see him in some more stuff. This could be a good option. But um, more, I think, prominently, more... Uh, famously, people have been looking at, and including myself, David Harbour for the role of Beast. He is huge, he's beefy, he's gruff, but he's also compassionate. He plays a really good role in Stranger Things as the officer that kind of looks out for and helps the kids in the town. And um, Hellboy 2019, he gets to play that big hero, and he, they use a lot of prosthetics and makeup, and I mean, he's buried in a suit. And uh, there's gonna be tons of CGI and action and stuff. So he's no stranger to action roles, of course. He would be great in this role. He's one of my top three picks for sure. Keenan Lonsdale for Iceman. Again, I've already talked about this. He'd be perfect. And then Joey, K Joe Keery, again from Stranger Things. Um, I hadn't seen him in anything before that, but also he's in Molly's Game. Um, would also be a pretty cool pick for this. I do prefer, I think, Keenan to Joe, but this is really fun and I like this. Um, giving some love to the Stranger Things cast out here, fan cast friends, he's clearly a fan of that, I love it. So let's keep moving. Next up, Samuel L. Jackson. Now this is way outside the box in my opinion. Samuel L. Jackson, again, we're casting for the MCU, so he is someone that is in the MCU already, but we don't know for how long and by the time the X-Men get into the MCU, it's possible that Nick Fury might have already passed. They might choose to recast. A little unlikely for this choice, but I do appreciate um, stretching the imagination here. And I do think that Samuel L. Jackson's a great actor. Um, we get to see him in a wheelchair and glass, so that's kind of cool. So Marvel's Avengers and then glass. And then the next choice here is Tom Cavanaugh, The Flash, CW, and Royal Pains. Um, he would be awesome in the role of Professor X. Shave his head and you got him. I think he could do that role really nicely. It'd be really fun to see him there. Now, for Magneto, this one was one that caught me by surprise that I did not think about, but boy, do I appreciate this. Michael Shannon from Man of Steel in the Shape of Water. Michael Shannon has some, some of the most glaring, like soul piercing eyes that you could ever have. And for Magneto, one of the big things is he's wearing the helmet. You're, you're basically getting the only really screen time for the eyes and the mouth. And I think that, you know, he's got he's got the chiseled chin that Magneto has. He's got, you know, a pretty n normal neutral nose, but also his eyes are just, just soul crushing. They're insane. And I think he would be a great choice for this. Now, again, on the, on the bit about, um, like if you're gonna race bend or whatever, La Monica Garrett. Um, from Designated Survivor and Daddy's Home. would If you're gonna race bend, this is your guy. I think he would be a great choice. I saw a few people like throwing a, a couple other names around in the realm of like race bending or whatever you want. Um, even gender bending and I, most of them, I'm like, no thank you. I, I'll take a classic version any day. But this guy I think would be a great fit. So this is a really good one. I really appreciate both of these castings. So for the full, for the full teams, we got Team number one, Bretton Thwaites, Joey King, 
uh, Graham Phillips, Carlos Valdez, Keenan Lonsdale, um, Samuel L. Jackson, Michael Shannon. And then on the other team, we have Oscar Isaac, Amber Heard, Dylan Sprouse, David Harbour, Joe Keery, Tom Cavanaugh, and LaMonica Garrett. Now, this one for me is mixed because I like, I, it kind of like goes back and forth, boom, 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 boom. I like both of these teams, but I do, I think if I had to, if I had to pick one, I think I would pick team two here, but let's keep moving. Fantasy underscore fancast 23 for those of you guys who are gonna check them out on Instagram. We got Ansel Elgort, Baby Driver and Fault in Our Stars, and Army Hammer, the Lone Ranger, and the Man from Uncle. I'm gonna start to speed through these a little bit faster because we've already gone through a lot of the acting choices. Um, Jean Grey, Kat McNamara from Shadowhunters and Maze Runner, and Evan Rachel Wood from Westworld and True Blood. Now, I haven't talked about these guys, so I'll say something real quick. Catherine McNamara, um, a lot of people, like my wife, who watched Shadowhunters, they read the books and everything, they were really unhappy with the with the TV show, but people who didn't want, read the books and just saw the TV show can usually appreciate the TV show. <laughs> my wife's a little bit of a, of a book snob in that, in that one instance. But with the uh, with Catherine McNamara, she's a fantastic actress that doesn't really display itself in the show that much because the writing is so cheesy, and so a lot of people like my wife get frustrated with her as the actress because she has she you you, you only have so much to work with, right? It's kind of like the Fant Four Stick movie. It wasn't the actor's fault; it was really really bad writing, um, and so. If the script is bad, if the story is bad, if your character's written poorly, there's only so much you can do as an actor to repair that. And I think Kat McNamara gets a bad rep in that situation, but I think she's a fantastic actress and she definitely looks the part. I could say uh, the same thing but more for Evan Rachel Wood. Westworld and True Blood, she does a fantastic job. She looks the part and I think that she would be great in the role. I don't think she has the same stigma that maybe Kat does, um, but I think both of these are fantastic choices, wonderful choices. Next up, Alex Petty for Beastly and I'm number four. And second up, Alan Richson, Titans, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Again, Alex Petty for, I think he's perfect for this role, but Alan Richson is also great. Um, he's very thick. The dude is beefed out to the max. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Titans, he does a great job on both of those. Probably the best part of both of those franchises in my opinion. But Alan Richson, um, I, I had considered him to put on my list for Cyclops and I think that if you put him in this role it would really amp up the, com the, uh, the competition camaraderie type of dynamic between him and Cyclops so if you put him in this role I think it would really just beef up the relationship between him and Cyclops and the whole like um, who's the bigger man who's better for the leadership role type of thing next up we have Again, Toby Kebbell and Joel Edgerton. So um, I'd gotten chastised on, online in the comments for saying Egerton, uh, like Taron Egerton, but it's Edgerton. Joel Edgerton from Warrior and Bright um, did, did such a good job in both of those. Uh, specifically, I would say in Warrior, where he plays the brother to Tom Hardy, does a, an amazing job as a UFC fighter. He got so beefed out. He's a big guy. I think he would be perfect for this role. You wouldn't need to use motion capture. You could go straight to him for his for that role. Um, you could though, but with Toby Kebbell, I would recommend um, basically the same thing. I think both of these guys are ideal. Both of them were on my list. So let's keep moving. Um, Iceman, Timothy Chalamet from Interstellar and Beautiful Boy. Um, He's an up and coming actor. He's doing really well for himself right now. A lot of people like him. He looks the part for Iceman, especially like the picture we're looking at right now. But I would, I'll would, i also say Colton Haynes. I've thought of him for Iceman for a very long time. He was on my list as well. And uh, Arrow and Teen Wolf. Um, he's really good at dramatic acting, but he's also really funny. And if you saw him on SNL, you get to see him uh, play a much more like sarcastic uh, character and much more funny guy. Uh, he's humorous. He doesn't get to shine that very often, but he, I think, would do really well in this role. Both these guys are great. Again, Ewan McGregor. I love that this keeps coming up, but also we have Jason Isaacs from Harry Potter and The Patriot. Now, Jason Isaacs always plays villains, like always, and it's because he's incredibly good at it, but it would be nice to see him play a much, much more compassionate character in Professor X. I would love to see that. I think both of these guys aesthetically looked the part, um, especially those <laughs> compared to the picture we're looking at right now. Really good. So great job with these castings. 
And again, Magneto, we've got Jude Law and Viggo Mortensen. Both these actors have come up a couple times. So let's keep moving. All right, and so the first lineup is Ansel Elgort, Kat McNamara, Alex Pettifer, Toby Kebbell, Timothy Chalamet, Ewan McGregor, Jude Law, and for the second tier, we have Army Hammer, Evan Rachel Wood, Alan Richson, Joel Egerton, Colton Haynes, Jason Isaacs, and Viggo Mortensen. These lineups are freaking sick. I love these. These are awesome. Um, I'm really, I really enjoy castings like Evan Rachel Wood, Alan Richson, um, you know, even uh, Colton Haynes, Timothy Chalamet. Uh, these were ones that I didn't see a whole lot. Um, I mean, I did see like Joel Egerton, but Colton Haynes, uh, Timothy Chalamet, Evan Rachel Wood, Alan Richson, those guys um, didn't get a ton of shout outs, but I really like those castings and I like them in those roles. They're very great. I really enjoyed that. So let's keep on moving. Mr. Funcaster. Next up, we have Mr. Funcaster on Instagram. He has Dan Stevens from Legion and Beauty and the Beast. Great choice. This guy has so much range, it's insane. Seeing him go from, um, like, for instance, what's a chick flick? It's called um, Downton Abbey to um, like Beauty and the Beast and then to Legion. This guy can do literally anything. He's amazing. So, yeah, he would be great in, in the role of Cyclops, and he looks the part. He's pretty good. Not huge, but, you know, whatever. Dylan o and then Dylan O'Brien as the second choice. If you're gonna go young, Dylan O'Brien is a great option, along with, I would say, Miles Teller for um, for this, from American Assassin and The Maze Runner. Next up, we have Jean Grey. Emma Watson from Harry Potter and Beauty and the Beast comes up again. And then after that, we have Haley Lou Richardson from Split and The Edge of Seventeen, another young um, up and coming actress. I think that she's really good. I will say, I think out of the two of those, I think I like Emma Watson better. Um, just because of the visual aesthetic. But in the picture that we're seeing here, uh, it looks like Haley Lee Richardson is closer visually, but you know, it's, I think at that point, it's basically just aesthetic. So let's keep moving. Alex Pettifer again, no need to talk about him because we've gone through that a bunch of times, but great casting there. And then Taryn Egerton, again, awesome choice there. Both of them, I, I would be so happy for either of those guys. Um, next up, we have Ansel Elgort. This one's unique because he's both very young and very small. Well, I think he's tall, but he's like thin, you know what I mean? And uh, so Ansel Elgort, Baby Driver, Fault in Our Stars. Interesting choice for Beast. It would be pretty cool to see him play an intellectual, but I think more along the lines, if you're gonna go with someone a little more slender, Matt Smith um, is a great choice for Beast. Uh, from Doctor Who and The Crown, does a fantastic job in both of those. Love this guy. I think he would be great great for the role of Beast. Bobby Drake, Jamie Bell. We got Fant Four Sticks, Jamie Bell, and The Adventures of Tintin. Um, literally perfect. I, I could not believe I didn't think of Jamie Bell from my list, um, but he. I, it would be a shame to see Marvel not take this guy back from Fant Four Stick. The, the flop that that was, they've already recycled, you know, Eric Killmonger. Um, it would be cool to see them pick up Miles Teller and then maybe to pick up Jamie Bell as well. I really like those guys. I think he would do much better in a comedic role. That would be much better. So him as Iceman is great. And then also Fionn Whitehead, if I'm saying any of that correctly. But from Dunkirk and the Children's Act, great actor. And I hadn't seen him in anything um, at, until those points, but uh, really good. Like him. Next, we have Ewan McGregor. Love it. <laughs> I'm really enjoying the love for Ewan in this one. And then Christian Bale, also a great choice. So we all know him as the Dark Knight. He was in Vice. In Vice, um, you know, he he had to gain a lot of weight. And uh, in this image here, he has a shaved head. Uh, I had not seen him with a shaved head until this point. Um, very outside the box in my head. Like it almost in my mind doesn't fit, but he's such a good actor. He could definitely play the role. I just hadn't thought of that. So this is why it's really cool to have people like Mr. Fancaster on here to give us some outside thoughts. Really great. And David Morrissey from The Walking Dead and Doctor Who could totally work for Magneto. And then also I think Kenneth Branagh, the director of Thor. And also he was an actor on Murder on the Orient Express and then also Cinderella. Um, uh, and then I think Dunkirk as well. He would do, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he would do really well in the role of Magneto. Uh, very outside the box uh, choices here, but let's take a look. Dan Stevens for roster number one, Emma, 
Emma, I almost said Emma Stone, Emma Watson, Alex Pettifer, Ansel Elgort, Jamie Bell, Ewan McGregor, David Morrissey, and then team two, we have Dylan O'Brien, Haley Lou Richardson, uh, Taryn Egerton, Matt Smith, Fionn Whitehead, Christian Bale, and Kenneth Branagh. Now, if you were to flip-flop Ansel Elgort and Matt Smith, you'd have a younger, you'd have an older on top and a younger roster on the bottom for the most part. Um, and But I think that I, I, I like both of these lists really well. Um, all great choices, honestly. I really like these. So Daft Detective, this guy. Love this guy. Check this guy out. He does some really cool art as well. He's he's a graphic designer and an artist as well as being a fan caster. And you see that in his fan cast because he does some of his own art. So um, for here, he did his own art for Bill Skarsgård from It and Deadpool 2 as Cyclops. Very cool. It's helpful to see him kind of in that role um, with the art there. It, it helps me because I hadn't seen Bill Skarsgård in that role, but it, now it's starting to kind of make sense. Surprisingly uh, tall guy, I can't remember how tall he is. I think he's like, what, 6'2 or something like that, but um, good, good stature and I think he would be good in the role. And then Army Hammer again um, in the role as well. Next up we have Emma Watson. Again, we've talked about her Harry Potter and Beauty and the Beast and then Evan Rachel Wood from Westworld and True Blood. Great choices here. Um, love the art that was done for Emma Watson. We also have Logan Miller from The Walking Dead, Love Simon, um, and then Zach Rorig from The Vampire Diaries and Rings. Really cool choices outside the box. I hadn't considered these, but that's the beauty of the fan casting summit. Next up, we have Josh McDermott. I love how we put him in the in the role because I can't see Josh McDermott just from the like the pictures, googling on Instagram and on um, on Google, but having done this art it's like wow i could actually visualize it and that's the beauty of doing something like this where you get people that are not only fan casters but also artists in here to show off their creative minds and what they could see happening um it's really helpful and then also we have michael c hall so dexter and the crown uh he was on my list initially i think i might have erased him and, and put some someone else but he almost made the list and uh, great talent, great actor, big guy. And I think that he would do really well in the role, especially if you put the the hood, like the the you know slimline mask over, like to the bridge of his nose, like this, just like the classic, big hands, big feet, exposed, um, and do the normal human beast before you go blue beast. He would be your guy. I really like that. Brandon Flynn from Thirteen Reasons Why and Brain Dead. We've already seen this guy, but this is a really cool art. Um, that we see here as him morphed into Iceman. And then we also get Josh Hutcherson, The Hunger Games and Red Dawn. I like this guy. Not a lot of people have been mentioning him as much, um, but I really enjoyed him in The Hunger Games. He was one of my favorite parts of The Hunger Games, honestly. A lot of people gave him some crap for the, for the films he was in, um, but I did like him and I like, I like him as an actor. He's funny and I would like to see him be able to play that some more. Next up, we have Jude Law with a really, he looks almost dip, he looks like Hispanic, almost different when you do this kind of an art where you make him bald. But he, you know, Daft did a great job making him bald, replacing his hairy head. And uh, from Captain Marvel and Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grind Grindelwald, Grindelwald, and Ralph Fiennes, Harry Potter, and the Lego Batman movie. Both of these guys would knock it out of the park. Really love it. Um, and then uh, Eric Lencher. Magneto, we've got, I think it's Ian Glenn, if I'm saying that right, I think it's Ian Glenn. And um, from Downton Abbey and Game of Thrones, talented actor, looks the part, great choice, um, great art. And then Liam Neeson from Batman Begins and the Chronicles of Narnia, fantastic, I love it. All together we have Team One, Bill Skarsgård, Emma Watson, Logan Miller, Josh McDermott, Brandon Flynn, Jude Law, Ian Glenn, and then on team two, we have Army Hammer, Evan Rachel Wood, Zach Rorig, Michael C. Hall, Josh Hutcherson, and Ralph Fiennes, and Liam Neeson as Magneto. These are really cool lineups. I like I like the lineups on both sides of this one. Th these are both really great. Let me know which ones you guys like down below in the comments. Um, fan casts underscore four underscore days. So it's fan casts for days with underscores instead of spaces. Let's take a look at his choices. Ansel Elgort and Liam Hemsworth. I love Liam Hemsworth. Hunger Games and Independence Day Resurgence. Um, I, I think that this would be fantastic. Liam Hemsworth was one of my picks as well. Um, I think that this would be great. Let's keep moving because I'm going to try to make this quick for you guys. Um, Madeleine Pesch uh, from Riverdale and The Curse of Sleeping Beauty. 
a really talented young actress, kind of up and coming, and Anna Kendrick, well known from The Accountant and Pitch Perfect. Um, both great. I think we see a lot of Anna Kendrick being selected in this role, but th some of these fan casters have started to, um, you know, catch on to Madeline Pesch being really talented. It would be cool if you're going to go younger to do Madeline, and then you know maybe 20s or 30s act, uh, age range for the characters. I would pick Anna. So let's keep moving. Alex Petty, Pettifer, perfect. Alexander Ludwig, one of the better parts of The Hunger Games by far. I love Alexander Ludwig, and he's doing a fantastic job on Vikings, playing an absolute savage. Love the guy, and he looks the freaking part. Both of these guys are aesthetic gold mines. Love it, both of these guys. Hank McCoy, Kit Harrington as Beast. He's really small. Guy. He's a really small guy, but. Um, he looks the part and he could definitely play the part. And if you're going to go CGI, that would be just fine. And I think he's great. Uh, he's from Game of Thrones and How to Train Your Dragon 2. Joel Egerton, Warrior and Bright. Love it. Great choice. We've already talked about that. Let's move forward. Iceman. Um, we've got Logan Lerman again. And Brandon Sue Hu. This is a new one. So from Ender's Game and Teen Titans, The Judas Contract, where he plays Beast Boy. Um... This is a really cool choice. If you're gonna race bend uh, this one, I like this this casting. I think he's great. He's got the personality for it, um, and I haven't seen him in anything since Ender's Game, fit like you know in person or like live action. So that would be really cool to get to see him again in something. But I do really like Logan Lerman in this role as well. So it's you know I would say I'd lean Logan, but could be a coin toss. Let me know what you guys think. Also, Ralph Fiennes and Stanley Tucci. Uh, from the Hunger Games and then Captain America, the first Avenger. Um, and uh, these are really cool. I, I really like Stanley Tucci. I think that he looks the part. Um, he usually plays kind of timid roles. I would like to see him maybe branch out a little bit, show some, some strong confidence. Um, but I think obviously Ralph Fiennes is a great choice for this. Both these are really fun. I like these. Let's keep going. Viggo Mortensen. Uh, from Lord of the Rings, Hidalgo, and then Sean Bean again Lee, from Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones. I love both of these castings. They're awesome. They're great. Um, and uh, yeah, a lot of people have been throwing these names in the air. So let's keep moving. First on, on the first team is Ansel Elgort, Madeline Pesch, Alex Pettifer, Kit Harrington, Logan Lerman, Ralph Fiennes, Viggo Mortensen. Team two, Liam Hemsworth, Anna Kendrick, Alexander Ludwig, Joel Egerton, Brandon Suhu, Stanley Tucci, and Sean Bean. This one's really tough for me um, because I, I really like these these picks. Um, I don't know. I might I might have to go team one for this one just because I think the vast majority was people that I had considered. But team two, I really enjoy the creativity. I love Alexander Ludwig, Liam Liam Hemsworth. I think Anna Kendrick would do great. Love Sean Bean, Joel Egerton, Edgerton would be great, and Brandon Suhu would be fun to see in the role. Let's keep moving. But great job. Reimagine fan casts. This one's fun. Let's go. We've got Miles Teller and Taryn Egerton. I love both these guys. Both of them are on the younger side. Uh, I think they're great. Let's keep going. Jean Grey, Kat McNamara, and Holland Roden, who we haven't talked about yet from Teen Wolf and Channel Zero. Uh, another young actress who I think would do well. Um, I, I think out of the two, I prefer Kat McNamara, but they're both cool. Um, Dacre Montgomery. For Warren Worthington and Sam Claflin. Sam Claflin, again, I, we talked about him, Hunger Games, Adrift, great actor. Um, both of these guys are really cool in the role. If I had to pick between the two of them, I'd probably go Sam Claflin. Uh, Henry McCoy, this one blew me away because we talked about Josh McDermott with Daft Detective's Choice, The Walking Dead, and uh, Retired at 35. This one, you don't see him in the blue, you get to see him uh, in person, I guess, uh, you know, without any kind of art addition. But Vince Vaughn surprised me. I really, I never considered this, but with him in Brawl and Cell Block 99 and Hacksaw Ridge, he can show some serious grit. This guy can show some, some amazing acting ability far beyond the comedy that most people know him for, which is usually pretty like cheesy and sitcom-y, but man, he, he shows off some new talent that I think it it revitalizes his career. And I think to bring that to Beast would be amazing. And I would love to see Vince Vaughn in this role. That became one of my favorite surprise castings for this character. 
um, Brandon Flynn and Dylan Minette, who's also 13 Reasons Why and Goosebumps 2015. Haven't seen a lot of that guy. He usually plays serious, more serious roles, less comedic roles, Dylan Minette, but he looks the part and I would like to see if he could play that role. Um, so, but I do think that Brandon Flynn has kind of shown those chops a little bit more. And I would like to, I think I would pick Brandon Flynn over Dylan Minnette for this role. Christian Bale and Ben Kingsley. We talked about both of these guys. Uh, ben Kingsley, Iron Man 3, Prince of Persia, great for the role. Shave the head, shave the face, and you got it. I think either way, but I would probably go, honestly, Ben Kingsley over, over Christian Bale for this one. And then uh, again, David Morrissey from Doctor Who and the Walking Dead for Magneto. And then Kurt Russell. This one would surprise me. I like this one for Magneto. Um, because Magneto is not really a villain, right? Magneto is just a mutant that has a different perspective and it's all about conflicting ideologies. It's kind of almost political in that way where you're not really somebody's enemy enemy, you just disagree. And with in the case of mutants, it could be very harmful to humans or to mutants one way or the other. And so I think Kurt Russell could play that dynamic where he's friends with Professor X, he's got great respect, um, but they just disagree and they're going to carry out their agendas differently um, to the degree of even violence towards one another sometimes, which is scary, but that's that's the X-Men. So I, I like that one. I like this casting here. Great job reimagined. So first we have Miles Teller, Cat McNamara, Dacre Montgomery, Vince Vaughn, Brandon Flynn, Christian Bale, Dave Morrissey, and then team two, we have Taron Egerton, Holland Roden, uh, Sam Claflin, Josh McDermott, Dylan Minnette, Ben Kingsley, and Kurt Russell. If I had to pick between the two casts, I would pick team one here, but I like team two a lot. Um, and I am I think honestly, I'm picking it mostly because of Cat McNamara, Dicker Montgomery, Vince Vaughn, and Miles Teller, and Brandon Flynn all together. I like those guys for team one, and that overwhelmingly won my vote on this one. So let's keep moving. Because I've already made my list for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and skim through it. Army Hammer and Liam Hemsworth for these. I did the art myself, but you know, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> um, uh, so Katie Cassidy and Blake Lively are my top two picks for Jean Grey. For Warren Worthington III, for Angel, we have Alex Pettifer and Alexander Ludwig. For Toby Kebbell and David Harbour are my picks for Beast. We have Dylan O'Brien and Robbie Amell, who is wickedly hilarious, for Iceman. I really like both of these guys. And then Terry O'Quinn from Lost and uh, Mark Strong for Charles Xavier. And for Magneto, I have Sean Bean and Liam Neeson as my top two. And so my top casting rosters are Army Hammer, Katie Cassidy, Alex Pettifer, Toby Kebbell, Dylan O'Brien, Terry O'Quinn, and Sean Bean for my first roster. For my second, I've got Liam Hemsworth, Blake Lively, Alexander Ludwig, David Harbour, Robbie Amell, Mark Strong, and Liam Neeson. I've got a very particular set of skills. Those are my rosters for my choices. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm gonna go ahead and pick out all of the numbers of the different votes that were cast. So for if if someone had, you know, a name like Liam Hemsworth in their top two spots for Cyclops and someone else had it for the top two, it doesn't matter if it's number one or number two, they got to cast two votes for the role. So I'm going to go through all of the votes that were cast really quick and show you guys who got the top spots. This is what it is. These are the most wanted castings for the roles of the MCU X-Men by the fan casting community. So 10 of the finest fan casters on Instagram cast their votes and then I included mine as well. And these are it. Let's check out the results. Let's see which actors are most wanted for the roles of the MCU X-Men. Let's get into it. First place comes in for Cyclops as Army Hammer with five votes total. So five votes earned Army Hammer the number one most wanted spot. Now this art was done by World of Fancasts, so make sure to uh, shout out to him, check him out. He does some great art as well. Uh, this is his image. Uh, he let me use it for the video. And then also tied for number two, we had two votes each. Andrew Garfield, Miles Teller, Ansel Elgort, and Liam Hemsworth, all of those guys got two votes each, and Army got five. So Army Hammer is the most wanted actor for the role of Cyclops in the MCU. Next up we have Emma Watson came in with five votes, just like Army Hammer did. Emma Watson is the number one actor choice for the role of uh, Jean Grey, Marvel Girl. And coming in tied for number two is Blake Lively, Natalie Dormer, Kat McNamara, and Evan Rachel Wood, each with two votes. 
So that's pretty cool. You get to see who the most wanted actress is and then the runner ups. Most wanted for the role of Angel, Alex Petty for five votes won him this role. And then as well, the second most voted individual was Dacre Montgomery with three votes. Both of these great choices. We also have Toby Kebbell came in as the winner with three votes. This one was a very close run. Uh, three votes for Toby Kebbell for the role of Beast. And then four people tied for second, Daniel Radcliffe, Josh McDermott, David Harbour, and Joel Egerton, all fantastic choices. Love these. We had a draw for the most wanted actor for the role of Iceman. Three votes each, Brandon Flynn and Logan Lerman tied for the role of Iceman. And then we had two runner-ups, Dylan O'Brien and Keenan Lonsdale, each with two votes as the runner-ups. Professor X, we had Ewan McGregor and Ralph Fiennes both tied again at three votes each for the role of Professor X. And then we have runner-ups, Sean Pertwee, uh, Christian Bale, Mark Strong, and Ben Kingsley, each with two votes. Finally, undisputedly, we had Viggo Mortensen at four votes, winning the choice for Magneto, which is super awesome. <laughs> I love that. And the runner up being Sean Bean. So again, uh, the Lord of the Rings actors won the choices for uh, Professor X, but Viggo Mortensen was the number one most demanded actor for the role of Magneto. Super cool stuff. Now let's take a look at everybody all together. We have the final results now. The most wanted actors to play the X-Men in the MCU are in fact Cyclops, Army Hammer. For Marvel Girl, we have Emma Watson. For Angel, we have Alex Pettifer. For Beast, we have Toby Kebbell. For Iceman, we have Brandon Flynn and Logan Lerman at a draw. And then we have for Professor X, Ewan McGregor and Ralph Fiennes at a draw. And finally, Magneto, Viggo Mortensen. Now this list it did surprise me. Army Hammer was no surprise to me. Alex Pettifer was no surprise to me. But I, I thought I was thinking outside the box when I made my list um, for, for Beast with Toby Kebbell. Um, and, you know, I had I had put Viggo Mortensen on my list. He wasn't in my top two, but he was probably top three or four. Um, and uh, Emma Watson, Brandon Flynn, uh, Logan Lerman, they weren't on my list at all. And these guys, uh, and Ewan McGregor even was kind of a bonus for me. But this really surprised me to see that the community has demanded these actors for the roles of the X-Men in the MCU. Very surprising. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. This is so much fun. But let me know down below whose castings you like the most. Which individual actors do you want to play the roles of the MCU X-Men? Were there any actors that were not on these lists that you would like to see play one of these roles? Let us know down below in the comments. Guys, we love fan casting. I've been following these guys for quite some time. The Fan Casting Summit has been a gathering of the greatest fan casters on Instagram. There is an open invitation um, to any who are actively fan casting on Instagram. Um, I want to give you guys a chance to voice your opinions on a grand scale here on my YouTube channel. I will host these fan casting summits periodically from time to time, maybe every other month. Um, this will be a, it's a big undertaking for me. It's a lot of editing to make these, uh, you know, presentations for you guys and to get all this information together and input from everybody. But man, is this fun. And I've really enjoyed this. You guys rock. Um, I want to make sure that everybody gets a quick shout out before we close out. So the fan casting summit participants, myself being the host, the stuff of legend on Instagram, the stuff of legend show, but also you can check out nerds United dream fan cast, World of Fancast, Fancaster underscore 64, Fancast Frenzy, Fancast, uh, Fantasy Fancast 23, Mr. Funcaster, Daft Detective, Fancast for Days, and Reimagine Fancast. Guys, thank you so much for participating in this massive collaboration event. This is the biggest fan casting event that has ever happened on YouTube. I'm super proud to be the person that has gotten to be able to host this because you guys are fantastically talented, phenomenal. You guys have creative minds that blow me away and inspire so many of us on Instagram and on, on YouTube and just fans. You guys rile us up, the fans, and get us talking about fan casting. And I'm super pumped that you guys were uh, willing to participate in this event. I'm super grateful for you guys. Thank you, and I can't wait to have you back on again. If you guys know any other fan casters that are interested, that enjoyed this video, if you yourself are a fan caster and you've got questions, leave a comment down below. If you wanna participate and collaborate with me here on the channel and these other wonderful fan casters, let me know. I'll put you on the email list and we can get going for the next couple months. That way you can participate in these fan casting summit events as well.
because I'm already planning the next few. So you guys, um, thank you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. Um, share if you haven't already, and please make sure to subscribe. Um, turn on notifications so you can be alerted right away when I go live or if we're gonna premiere a video just like this one in the future. I want you guys to know when this is happening so you can share it with friends, you can get your popcorn ready, you guys can enjoy this with me, you can geek out about the, the selections, you can say, oh man, that guy deserves some more attention or why didn't anybody shout out this other actor? You know, like, wow, I'm really grateful that they picked my actor, the actor that I like the most for the role. These are fun and with the MCU getting ready to have the X men in the picture it is perfect timing to get going with these things i'm so excited you guys let me know what you guys think down below and i cannot wait to hear from you guys stay tuned for more right here on the stuff of legend Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video, or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.